So before we launch uh, this our Sublime text editor and begin uh, and type in our code, let's see the algorithm that we are going to use to uh, develop this particular uh, Python script that we will be using to change our MAC address. And before we write our, uh, before we uh, write any program, it is very important that we write an algorithm. Now, uh, algorithm is what is going to guide us to develop that particular problem. So basically, the most important thing in developing any program is developing the algorithm. Now, once you get the algorithm, translating that into any programming language is very uh, trivial. It's very simple. So trans first of all, you identify the problem and then you develop step-by-step -step procedure that you are going to use to tackle that problem uh, in the form of an algorithm. Now translating this algorithm into any programming language will be very trivial. So uh, now we have developed, I have developed an algorithm that we are going to use to uh, uh, script this, our uh, uh, Python tool that we are going to use to change our MAC address. So the first step is we are going to ask the user of our program to enter the interface whose MAC address he would like to change its MAC address. Then we are going to ask the user to enter the new MAC address. Then our program, then we are going to the program will now run system command to change the MAC address and then print a successful message if successful and print failure, failure message if otherwise. So uh, basically in just four steps, we'll be able to achieve this, our program. Also as a program plan, we are going to create a, uh, a three functions. Uh, one function to accept the argument, that is the interface and the MAC address from the terminal in the form of argument. And then we are going to create another function to change, to actually change the MAC, the MAC address. And then we are going to create another function to check if the MAC address has actually been changed. So basically, you are going to have three uh, functions. Uh, and we know that a Python programming can be either object-oriented approach or in the form of uh, a procedural approach. That is uh, basically, we use functions to implement our uh, Python uh, program. Or we create it in the form of object-oriented approach. So basically, uh, this program, we are not using object-oriented programming approach. We are just creating functions to implement this uh, program. So basically, three functions. One function to accept argument, another function to actually change, change the MAC address, and then another function to now verify if the MAC address has actually been successfully changed.